Hello students of America. We are anonymous. It all starts from the time an American child reaches the sixth grade. They are taught that the key to success in life is to do well in high school, so that they can get accepted to the best possible college. The better grades they get in high school the better college they will attend. If they get into a great college and get their college degree, any type of job they desire in the field of their choice will be theirs, just waiting for them after getting their dream job. They will be able to buy any car or house they desire, start a family and live the American dream. Most Americans today have an expectation of future economic success, simply by obtaining a college degree. In fact, the US now has hundreds of private college preparatory high schools at a cost of $30,000 per year. These schools are supposed to increase the chances of getting into a top-tier college. Students are taught to believe that if they don't go to college they will be on a path to nowhere. That they will have no chance at ever building a successful career. Government regulations like No Child Left Behind have left grade and high schools be in shambles instead of teachers having the freedom to think outside the box and use creative techniques to prepare their students for the real world. Teachers are forced to be narrow-minded and teach with worthless information that will never help their students have successful careers. Today there are no high schools left in America that teach students the knowledge necessary to start their own business invent their own product, or even how to use the internet and other free resources. The annual cost to attend the average private four-year college in America today is $31,231, up 29% from five years ago. This does not include the college textbooks which have tripled over the past decade. Colleges are now charging $200 for each single textbook that has no resale value because they put out a new slightly revised versions with a new name each year. The textbook publishers are even colluding with college bookstores. Colleges are getting kickbacks from publishers in order to destroy the used textbook market which by itself is proof enough the college administrators are only interested in lining their own pockets. College tuition has seen a 5.5% annual price inflation over the past five years. With $4.6 trillion on bailouts, stimulus programs and other government spending that works out to be over $4 million spent for each job created. As we move into deeper into this recession, Anonymous believes that inflation will continue to skyrocket and the reality of an economic depression will sink in. People will realize that all that worthless money you have saved up, can't buy you much of anything anymore. The US government created Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac in order to make housing more affordable. But instead their actions drove housing prices through the roof and made buying a house impossible for most Americans, unless they took out no money down tees or loans with interest rates that substantially increased after a couple of years. The US government has been trying for decades to make college more affordable but its actions have accomplished the complete opposite. This is going on all across the country. American students are graduating college with an education, out of control debt and a lifetime of servitude. Once you get a job, you buy a house because culture drives you to buy it. Back in the 1970s the average college student was able to afford their college tuition without any student loans or help from their parents. They were able to pay for college by working a part-time job. They were also able to afford their own car payments and possibly a small apartment. The US government destroyed this by providing easy student loans to anybody who applied for them without any credit requirements. Over the past decade, any 18-year-old has had the ability to take out large student loans without even being asked if they have a job, what their high school grades were, what they intend to major in or any other information that would help determine their future ability to pay back the loan. Therefore, it will be US taxpayers who end up paying for the artificially inflated sky-high tuitions. For all college students who can't or choose not to repay their loans it won't only be taxpayers who suffer. Students who can't find a job to pay the government back will be bailed out by the government and have the loans forgiven. Private for-profit colleges must then keep raising tuitions to stay within the 90-10 rule. The government's 90-10 rule mandates that at least 10% of other private for-profit colleges' income comes from non-federal government sources. Therefore, private for-profit colleges must keep raising tuitions to stay within the 90-10 rule. The government is now making the situation many times worse by completely taking over the student loan business. 
hidden inside the recently passed health care bill the government passed a complete student loan overhaul where they remove commercial banks from providing loans to students. Now all students will receive their loans directly from the government at artificially low interest rates. There is absolutely no reason why we the taxpayers should be funding college education. Prices for food, energy, and everything else Americans need to live and survive are soaring through the roof. Our country needs to wake up to the reality that the world is changing and Americans will need to undertake new methods for survival. The American mindset has become so obsessed with the belief that college is the key to success, but, by the time most people wake up to the truth it'll be too late. The Federal Reserve prevented the necessary depression from happening by taking trillions of dollars of worthless assets onto its balance sheet, and, as of today, none of the imbalances have ever been fixed. The value of a college degree today is declining faster and faster. It is impossible to have an artificial moon created by artificially low interest rates from the Federal Reserve. The youth in America today need to be taught to think for themselves, and realize that there is no value to having a college degree if everyone else has one. The value of a college degree is declining every day. However, the largest and most profitable college in the future will be online colleges that will attract all of the most successful professors from around the world. This allows them to teach an unlimited number of students over the internet. Students will receive a much higher quality education for only a small fraction of the cost of attending a traditional college. As technology advances and grows, so will the collective mindset of this generation. A generation of young minds learning in new ways. Students will have the opportunity to learn from the very best, in any field of their choice, from the comfort of their own home. Students will have, with all the modern technological advances the world has been experiencing in recent years, the cost to the quality college education in America should be getting cheaper, not more expensive. If there was a true free market in college education, colleges would be figuring out more cost-efficient ways to educate students using modern technology in order to bring tuitions down and compete against each other for the enrollment of new students. Anonymous vows to protect the free flow of information on the internet, now and forever. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.